वेलकम टू संध्या लेसन्स क्लास फाइव मैथ्स सेमिस्टर टू चाप्टर फाइव फैक्टर्स एंड मल्टीपल इन दिस वीडियो लेटस् कंप्लीट द वर्कशीट सी टू ट्वेंटी फोर वी पदहार वर्कशी वीडियो लिंक डिस्क्रिपन बाॉक्स इव जी वर्कशीट सी Use prime factorization method to find the LCM and HCF of the given numbers. First problem: We have to find the LCM and HCF of four, five, twenty-four. Prime factorization of four is two into two. Prime factorization of five is five. Prime factorization of twenty-four is two into two into two into three. Therefore, LCM. LCM of four five twenty four is equals to one hundred twenty. HCF is equals to one. Second problem: prime factorization of thirty two is equals to two into two into two into two into two. Prime factorization of thirty four is equals to two into seventeen. Prime factorization of thirty six is equals to two into two into three into three. Therefore, LCM is equals to Four thousand eight hundred ninety-six. HCF is equals to two. Third problem: twenty-one, twenty-four, thirty-six. Prime factorization of twenty-one is three into seven. Prime factorization of twenty-four is two into two into two into three. Prime factorization of thirty-six is two into two into three into three. Therefore, LCM of twenty one, twenty four, thirty six is five hundred four. HCF is equals to three. Fourth problem: ten, sixteen, twenty one. Prime factorization of ten is equals to two into five. Prime factorization of sixteen is equals to two into two into two into two. Prime factorization of twenty one is equals to three into seven. Therefore, LCM of ten, sixteen, twenty one is equals to One thousand six hundred eighty. HCF is equals to one. Worksheet eighteen. First Roman, find LCM for the following numbers. Ye problem. LCM of sixteen, twenty-eight, forty-four is one thousand two hundred thirty-two. B problem. Given numbers are thirty nine, forty five, and fifty four. Therefore, LCM of thirty nine, forty five, and fifty four is equals to three thousand five hundred ten. C problem: sixteen, twenty four, and forty. LCM of sixteen, twenty four, and forty is equals to two hundred forty. D problem: LCM of Eighty four and one hundred forty four is one thousand eight. Ye problem given numbers are seventy two, ninety six, and one hundred twenty. Therefore, LCM of seventy two, ninety six, and one hundred twenty is equals to one thousand four hundred forty. F problem one hundred twenty and one hundred sixty eight. LCM of one hundred twenty and one hundred sixty eight is equals to Eight hundred forty. G problem: one hundred two, one hundred seventy, one hundred thirty-six. LCM of one hundred two, one hundred seventy, and one hundred thirty-six is equals to two thousand forty. H problem: given numbers are one hundred twenty, one hundred fifty, and one hundred thirty-five. LCM of one hundred twenty, one hundred fifty, and one hundred thirty-five is equals to five thousand four hundred. Worksheet nineteen. Find the HCF for the following numbers. Ye problem. Given numbers are seven, twenty-one, and forty-two. HCF of seven, twenty-one, and forty-two is seven. B problem. Sixteen, eight, and twenty. Therefore, uh, HCF highest common factor of sixteen, eight, and twenty is equals to four. C problem twenty seven, eighteen, and forty five. 
हेच सी एफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन एटीन एंड फोर्टी फाइव इज ईक्वल्स टू नाइन डी प्रॉब्लम फोर्टी फोर सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड वन हंड्रेड टेन हेच सी एफ ऑफ फोर्टी फोर सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड वन हंड्रेड टेन इज ईक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी टू ये प्रॉब्लम फोर्टी एट फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड सेवेंटी टू देर फॉर हेच सी एफ ऑफ फोर्टी एट फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड सेवेंटी टू ईज एट एफ प्रॉब्लम एटी फोर एंड वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर हेच सी एफ ऑफ एटी फोर एंड वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर ईज ईक्वल्स टू ट्वेल्व जी प्रॉब्लम वन हंड्रेड टू सिक्सटी एट एंड वन हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स हेच सी एफ ऑफ वन हंड्रेड टू सिक्सटी एट एंड वन हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स ईज ईक्वल्स टू थर्टी फोर हेच प्रॉब्लम वन हंड्रेड नाइंटी एट एंड थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी हेच सी एफ ऑफ वन हंड्रेड नाइंटी एट एंड थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी ईज ईक्वल्स टू एटीन वर्कशीट ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम बाबा एटेंड्स म्यूजिक क्लासेस एवरी फिफ्थ डे एंड डांस क्लासेस एवरी थर्ड डे इन ए मंथ इफ ही हैड बोथ म्यूजिक एंड डांस क्लासेस ऑन मे फिफ्थ वाट वुड बी द नेक्स्ट डेट ऑन विच ही वुड एटेंड बोथ म्यूजिक एंड डांस क्लासेस लेट अस आंसर द क्वेश्चन गिवेन वॉट इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवेन Baba's attending days for dance and music classes. What is to be found next day on which he would attend both? Which process do you follow? Application of LCM. Second problem was also the same problem. Let us answer the questions given. When did Baba attend music classes? Every fifth day of a month. When did Baba attend dance classes? Every third day of a month. When did Baba attend both music and dance classes? On May fifth. What process help us to get the answer for the problem? We can get the answer for the problem by finding LCM. Third problem was also the same problem. Solution. Baba attends music classes on every fifth day. Baba attends dance class on. Every third day, Baba attended both music and dance classes on May fifth. To find Baba attended both music and dance classes after May fifth, what is the process? Do you select? Find the LCM of three and five. The next date, Baba attends both music and dance classes is on. To get the answer, we should find the LCM of three and five. LCM of three and five is equals to. Fifteen. Therefore, answer is equals to May fifth plus fifteen days. After fifteen days from May fifth, he attends both classes. So he attends both classes on May twenty. Worksheet twenty one. First problem. First problem was the same problem which was given in worksheet twenty. So solution. On which day of the month did Baba attend for music class? Fifth day. On which day of a month did Baba attend for dance class? Is equals to third day. When did Baba attend both music and dance classes? May fifth. How to find Baba attends both music and dance classes after May fifth by finding the LCM. What process do you select? Finding the LCM. When did Baba attend both classes on same day after May fifth. He attends both classes on same day on May twenty. Second problem solution. The day on which Baba attend music class is equals to fifth day. The day on which Baba attend dance class is equals to third day. The date on which Baba attended both classes is equals to May fifth. Next date on which Baba attend both classes is equals to May five plus fifteen days. That is equals to May twenty. Third problem: Find the least number which is evenly divided by ten, fifty, and fifteen. To get the required number, we should find the LCM of ten, fifty, and fifteen. LCM of ten, fifty, and fifteen is equals to one hundred fifty. Therefore, the required number is equals to one hundred fifty. 
Worksheet 22 First problem, find the least number which, when evenly divided by 10, 20 and 15, leave the remainder of 5 in each case. Let us answer the problem. Given three numbers are 10, 20, 15. The remainder obtained after every division is 5. To find the required least number, which process do you select? By finding the LCM. The required least number. We can get the required least number by calculating the LCM of given numbers 10, 20 and 15. LCM of 10, 20 and 15 is equals to 60. In the question it was given, the remainder is 5. So, the required least number is 60 plus 5 is equals to 65. The required number is 65. Second problem. At a special day in an amusement park, every visitor gets a gift bag with an item. Some of the bags have item in them as shown in the following table. Hat. Every second visitor. T-shirt, every 7th visitor. Ball, every 10th visitor. How often will a bag contain all the 3 items? Hat is received by every 2nd visitor. T-shirt is received by every 7th visitor. Ball is received by every 10th visitor. If you want to know the person who receives a gift bag containing all the 3 items, what is the process do you Select to find such a bag with three items. We can get the answer by finding the LCM of 2, 7 and 10. The LCM of 2, 7 and 10 is equals to 70. Which number of person does receive a gift bag containing three gifts? 70 person. Worksheet 23. First problem, what is the minimum amount required to share equally among 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 members without leaving any? To get the answer, we should find the LCM of the given numbers. LCM of given numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 is equals to 420. Therefore, required minimum amount is equals to 420 rupees. Second problem, find the largest number that divides 96 and 144 without leaving a reminder. To get the largest number that divides 96 and 144, we should find the HCF of the given numbers. HCF of 96 and 144 is equals to 48. Therefore, the required largest number is equals to 48. Third problem, what is the LCM of the numbers from 1 to 10? LCM of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 is equals to 2520. Fourth problem. What is the least number if it is added to 3? Then the sum is divisible by 15, 21 and 25. To get the answer we should find the LCM of the given numbers 15, 21 and 25. LCM of 15, 21, 25 is equals to 525. Therefore, required number is equals to 525 minus 3 that is equals to 522. Therefore, the number which is added to 3 is 522. Worksheet 24. First Roman, fill in the blanks with sortable answers. 4 is the smallest composite number. The number of prime number less than 20 are 8. Even number plus even number is equals to even number. Even number plus odd number is equals to odd number. Odd number plus odd number is equals to even number. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, so on are multiples of 3. Write the factors of 12. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. LCM of 3 and 9 is 9. 
LCM of two prime numbers is the product of given prime numbers. HCF of three and nine is three. HCF of two prime numbers is one. Second Roman, write T for true and F for false in the brackets. One is a multiple of every number. False. There are infinite number of multiples of a number. True. Every number is a multiple of itself. True. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen are prime numbers. True. Six, eight, ten, twelve, twenty are prime numbers. False. Fourteen is a composite number. True. The smallest odd composite number is nine. True. The number two thousand four hundred twenty-seven is divisible by six. False. Any number that is divisible by six is divisible by three. True. Two is only even prime number. True. Third Roman, tick the correct answer. Last prime number between one and hundred is ninety-seven. Option A. Sum of fifth multiple of nine and seventh multiple of six is eighty-seven. Option C. Which one of the following is not correct? One thousand five is divisible by ten. Option D is not correct. HCF of twelve and eighteen is six. Option D. The prime factorization of one thousand two hundred sixty is two into two into three into three into five into seven. Option D. HCF of one hundred thirty, five hundred twenty, and eight hundred forty-five is sixty-five. Option A. LCM of twenty-four, thirty-six, fifty-six, and eighty-one is four thousand five hundred thirty-six. Option C. Thank you for watching.